<clears throat> I'm getting ready to watch this Jake Paul fight, and um, I just wanted to talk a little bit about how Jake Paul has affected my life. Uh, I, I would I, 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 I would say that Jake Paul and Takashi and Trump and Kanye and you know all of these super polarizing uh, figures, popular figures, have like changed the industries they're the industries that they're in um every i mean whoever would have thought trump would be uh, you could have a celebrity as a president whoever thought takashi you know diy to become one of the biggest uh rappers in the world all on his own um it kind of reminds me of like icp or like um uh even even another hero of mine fat mike fat records and and, and jake paul someone who's built built something from the ground up I've always been a disruptor. I've always wanted to disrupt, and um, I, 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 um, I don't really have an opinion. I mean, I, I'm not gonna say that I like or dislike any of these characters. I, I would say that yeah, I definitely like something about all of them, but I don't know them, so I can't say whether or not they're good people who really cares though you know who's who's a good person that we all struggle to to we're all just trying to be as good as we can um so i don't i would like to see him win just because it would be cool for people who doubt doubted him and for, for people who don't think outside the box like old guard people who are sort of like preying on his downfall, like not wanting things to change, even though he's already done so much good stuff for the sport. So I would like to see him win. But I also really like Nate Diaz. So I would, it'd be cool if Nate got a knockout. I feel like he deserves it. He seems like a cool dude. Um, and he seems like way more humble than Jake. But hum humility doesn't get you. <laughs> it's like the biggest thing for me to, to try to practice that. But um, I think I think it's okay to be like boisterous and like believe in yourself, and um, you, you you have to be delusional and 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 narcissistic to to achieve success on on that level. So we'll see we'll see who wins. Um, I definitely can relate because I'm disrupting my industry, and I have a lot of people who don't like me, and. Um, I watched that documentary on Jake Paul last night, the Netflix one, and um, there was a time when he, a lot of people didn't like him either, and um, anytime you're doing something different, people aren't gonna like you, and, and um, I am trying to do something that's honest and real and transparent, like really transparent, really authentic. What does it really look like getting sober, and um, I don't give a fuck. I, 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 a lot of people have a lot of opinions on, on, on me going too hard. You need to chill. You shouldn't be posting that. You can't post that. Be careful. Be careful. A lot of people are at me afraid, and I'm afraid sometimes. But I have to just power through the way Jake did. He just kept his head down and he worked hard and he he didn't give up in the face of all the adversity. I mean, look. He, 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 him and his brother hated each other and he was one of the most hated people on, 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 a, online. And that's, he's a human being. That's, you don't understand how hard that is. Like, it's hard knowing that people don't like you. It's really, really a weird thing. They don't know you, but they don't like you. They hate you. I've had people who like really, really hate me. And it's very like unmotivating. It, 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 it's, you have to be really, really strong to get up and try to achieve your dreams in the face of that. So I respect him a lot. And I also love the fact that everybody hates him and, and, and he's sort of like the underdog or like, you know, oh, he's not a real fucking fighter. He's just a YouTuber. He's just a YouTuber. It's like everyone has this like, everyone says the same thing. Everyone has the same opinion. Everyone just falls in line with everyone else. And it's like, oh, oh, we don't like Jake Paul right now? Okay, cool. So yeah, fuck Jake Paul. It's like, why would you want to just fall in line with everyone? I want to be different. I want to be different. I want to have a different opinion than everyone. Um, I, don't, I don't always because I'm not going to like just have a different opinion in the face of insanity. I'm not going to like, okay, I'm rambling now. We'll see. We'll see how this goes.
What's up, Dino? Like, what are you up to? Yeah, <laughs> Jake's in like better shape. Younger. But it's hard for people to like. Yeah, nobody wants him to win. Because he hasn't been like. He didn't like come into the sport the same way everyone else did. So everyone's like. And who do you want to win? Uh, I guess with the old timer. Just because no. the old timer, Nate. Yeah, he's doing fine, but I, I think it would be cool to watch him, like, prove to everyone that he can be a real fighter and, like, keep getting better and better and better and better. You see, a lot of the old guard... Yeah, but, like... It's, like, old people who aren't willing to, like, change. You know what I mean? Like, they can't have an open mind. They can't, like... Yeah, I, I, I'm down with Nate, too. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Watch. Listen to when they announce Nate. Tell me that he doesn't have a bigger... Obviously, Nate's got... Oh my god. How many times are they gonna say that? Because it's so crazy. About the fact that he's getting moved. No, I'm not complaining. I'm noticing something. People have always hated him and booed him throughout his whole But you know what's so crazy is like Jake's paying him more than he's ever been paid. And all these people are there because of this guy they want to see lose. Isn't that weird? Yes. Like, he's the fucking villain. He's the villain. And this, he chose to be the villain. So he can make money. That's so crazy. I don't know if he's the villain. He said it in the documentary last night. Who Netflix did? just put out a documentary on Jake Paul. He's like, more people hated me online than any other person in the world. And he's like, what? what's a good sport to be the villain in? Boxing. That's how you sell tickets. Mike, Mike Tyson, Muhammad Ali, talking shit. You know what I'm saying? People didn't like Muhammad Ali. They hated him. Yeah, yeah. You, people probably forget that. You know what I mean? Like, this kid's going to go down in history. This kid will go down in history. What? Mark my words. Ten years from now, five years from now, he's going to be a living legend. Or he might get knocked out right now and just give up on the sport altogether. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it looks like it looks. See, but I mean, Nate's a Nate's a serious boxer. Yeah, I think Nate knows that. I think Nate knows he has a real fight. Oh shit! He just came in with a haymaker. Did you see that? Yeah. Bro, Jake just threw a big old boy. Yeah, Jake's a tank, dude. People don't understand. What, what, now what? Where's all that experience? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, okay. what, what happened to all that experience? Yeah. He's got a lot more than a million dollars. <laughs> I mean, this is the first time you're ever gonna have kids. I'm about to sing the Jake Paul song. And all the old people are upset. <laughs> Look at all the old people. This is Team Ted. No, but like the old people are upset. You know what I mean? Our childhood one. See, like that's why I love. Wow. 
I think his brother got a black eye from someone. His brother, his brother got a black eye from someone. <laughs> Dude, this is so crazy. They're booing. It's so crazy. It's so crazy. I love that. I know. It was a good fight though. Yeah. Like, it was my house. Maybe 